Dear colleagues, every year FIP recognizes individuals and organizations who have shown excellence in their areas of expertise. Under normal circumstances, we would have been able to announce and congratulate our award winners in person during the opening ceremony of the annual FIP Congress. Although this year FIP is unable to organize a face-to-face -face Congress, we do wish to honor and recognize these valued colleagues and we are therefore holding this virtual award ceremony. I hope you will join me in congratulating these colleagues and that you will share the news of this award around the world in acknowledgement of their achievements in advancing our great profession and our federation. The first award that I would like to present today is the Host Matson Medal. The Host Matson Medal is conferred biannually in honor of Dr. Eric Host Matson, an eminent past president of FIP. It is awarded every other year to a distinguished research active scientist who has made significant and outstanding contributions to the diverse field of pharmaceutical sciences. Generous support for the award of the medal is provided by Denmark's Apotheca for Reining, the Association of Danish Pharmacies. I am very pleased this year to present the Host Matson Medal to Professor Hideyoshi Arashima from Japan. Hideyoshi is a highly innovative pharmacist and pharmaceutical scientist who has spent more than 30 years advancing the fields of nanomedicine, gene and nucleic acid therapy and drug delivery. His research is focused on the development of a multifunctional envelope type nano device that can be used to control intracellular trafficking as well as the biodistribution of nucleic acids. This non-viral gene delivery system has been called one of the smartest approaches for controlling intracellular drug trafficking and delivery of encapsulated molecules to cell organelles. And it represents a generic nanoplatform which has been further designed to become pH responsive or to be able to influence to more microenvironment, a major challenge in oncology. Hideyoshi has developed a number of other nanocarriers with smart functionalities. He has published over 400 original articles and has submitted more than 75 patents based on his drug delivery system. His collaborative efforts include projects with many pharmaceutical companies in the AU, USA and his home country and he has been instrumental in establishment of the Laboratory for Molecular Design of Pharmaceutics and the Laboratory of Innovative Nanomedicine, both in Japan. Hideyoshi also organized the first joint FIP Academy of Pharmaceutical Science and Technology Japan workshop on gene delivery and the International Liposome Research Conference. He has served FIP as co-chair of the Special Interest Group on Pharmaceutical Biotechnology. One of the major players in nanomedicine, Hideyoshi is fully deserving of this award, which is FIP's highest scientific honor. The second award that I would like to present is the FIP Distinguished Practice Award. The purpose of this award is to recognize an individual who has made an outstanding contribution to pharmaceutical practice and who has been engaged with the work of FIP. I am pleased to announce that the award is being made to Professor James Stevenson from the United States. Jim has had a long career in health systems pharmacy leadership and has combined his clinical pharmacy skills with academia and teaching. He has developed and directed post-doctorate fellowship programs in pharmacoeconomics and outcomes research across different universities. The list of contributions 
that Jim has made to FIP are extensive and include being the treasurer of our hospital pharmacy section for eight years, working tirelessly to attract corporate sponsorship that has allowed the section to expand activities such as the Basel Statements Grant Program and being mem a member of the Board of Pharmacy Practice. He has participated in the PharmaBridge program at the US Hospital Pharmacy Section representative for a number of years, providing training and support for colleagues from India, Peru and Nepal. Jim has also been involved in several FIP working groups, including on the Statement of Policy on Responsible Use of Medicines, the Statement of Policy on Control of Antimicrobial Resistance, and on the Global Conference on the Future of Hospital Pharmacy. Despite having retired from the Hospital Pharmacy Section Executive Committee, he is still working with the section's leaders on a bold approach to advancing the Basel Statement in developing countries of Namibia and Pakistan. The success that FIP's Hospital Pharmacy Section has enjoyed over several years is a testament to much of Jim's leadership. He is a quiet achiever that does not not feel the need to blow his own trumpet. Nevertheless, we are very pleased to recognize his service today. Jim, I thank you for all your dedication to the mission of FIP. Now, I would like to announce this year's new FIP Fellows. The purpose of these fellowship awards is to recognize individual members of FIP who have exhibited strong leadership internationally, who have distinguished themselves in the pharmaceutical sciences and or practice of pharmacy, who have contributed to the advancement of the pharmaceutical sciences and or practice of pharmacy, and who have served FIP. FIP fellows may use the designation of FIP. I will introduce this year's recipients in alphabetical order. Professor Patricia Acuna Johnson, Chile. Patricia is a pharmacy educator who has held many positions in higher education at the University of Valparaiso, Chile, including Dean of the School of Chemistry and Pharmacy Dean of the Faculty of Pharmacy, Provost and Academic Vice-Rector. She is Executive Secretary of the Pan-American Conference on Pharmaceutical Education and was appointed as International Member of the International Commission of the Accreditation Council for Pharmaceutical Education in the USA for two consecutive periods, holding Presidency of this Commission in 2015. Patricia has been a long-term contributor to the FIP education mission that began with the Pharmacy Education Task Force in 2008, playing an active part in FIP's working group on pharmaceutical education, being global lead for the Workforce Development Hub and being an associate editor for FIP's Pharmacy Education Journal. She is a strong advocate for FIP education developments in South America and continues to be an integral team member for new projects associated with the FIP Global Pharmaceutical Observatory and Commission projects. Thank you, Patricia, for your long-standing loyalty and commitment to our mission. Dr. Dalia Bajis Al-Jazra, Kingdom of Bahrain. Dalia completed her PharmD exploring the development of pharmacist competencies in the Eastern Mediterranean region. This work re related directly to the goals and mission of FIP, where she used FIP education developed resources and models to understand the barriers to and facilitators of implementing competency-based training in the region. Her work has had a great impact on changing the way in which pharmacists in her region are trained. Since becoming a member of FIP in 2014, Dalia quickly took office in the academic pharmacy section as editor of its newsletter and as a member of its executive committee. 
Her achievements within the section include the development of ACPS COVID-19 grant and the Education and Mental Health Grant Scheme for low to middle income countries. She has also contributed to the implementation of FIP's Train the Trainer program. She is currently the FIP Global Lead for the Workforce Development Hub Early Career Training Strategy and we are pleased that she recently also joined us at FIP headquarters as a member of staff leading our provision and partnerships program of work. Dr. Mariette Exton, South Africa. Mariette has been a member of FIP since 2008. She has demonstrated international leadership skills in various roles, including as chair of our Young Pharmacies Group in 2013. Her experience led to the establishment of a Young Pharmacies Group within the Pharmaceutical Society of South Africa in 2014. In 2015, Marriott was elected as an Executive Committee member of FIP's Academic Pharmacy Section, where she served a four-year term and was editor of the section's newsletter. Since 2019, she has been FIP's Global Lead for Workforce Development Goals 7, Services and Professional Education and Training. Mariette was a member of the working group developing the reference paper Patient Safety, Pharmacy's Role in Medication Without Harm, which led to a FIP Statement of Policy. She was also part of the reference group that reviewed the FIP 21 Development Goals launched last year, which now direct FIP's actions. Mariette works in professional development and support at the Pharmaceutical Society of South Africa. She supported the Society's successful bid for the FIP Congress and is continuing the, to work with us in preparation, including liaising with the South African Minister of Health for endorsement of this Congress and our anticipated Global Ministers Summit. Dr. Jan Larsen, Australia. Ian has educated over a decade to FIP in the service of education and workforce development. He is currently Director of Learning and Teaching at Monash University's Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. He is the lead educator of the US Ed Global Health Foundation of GMP e-learning course. Since its launch in 2020, more than 8,000 people in 65 countries have started the course, including 4,000 specialists from pharmaceutical manufacturers and drug regulatory authorities. Ian is the lead educator of the Science of Medicines, MOOC, which has run more than 60 times with over 60,000 participants since 2015, and his expertise is highly appreciated in the continued development of FIP's Workforce Development Hub and the FIP Education Mission. Importantly, Ian was the lead developer of Farm Academy, a web resource that was instrumental in enabling the sharing, reuse and repurposing of learning and teaching resources, which has been particularly valuable for the FIP Ed Education Development Team, EDT, and our academic institutional membership during their development years. Ian is currently supporting work on a FIP Moodle platform, which will be integral to the expansion of FIP member services related to provision. Professor Don Mager, USA. Don has a strong history of international collaboration and service. He has been an associate editor of three prominent journals and held influential leadership roles at the American Association of Pharmaceutical Scientists, the American Society for Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics, and the International Society for Pharmacometrics. He is currently president of the American College of Clinical Pharmacology. Don is also a leader in systems pharmacology and pharmacodynamics. 
His significant contributions include creating new theoretical concepts and applications related to target-mediated drug disposition, assessing properties of monoclonal antibodies, and developing cancer chemotherapy models. He was the primary author of a seminal article on target-mediated drug disposition, which is the most unique process identified in pharmacokinetics over the past 25 years and has emerged as a key property in the PKPD of many biologic agents. Don also works in the area of polypharmacy in older people. He and his colleagues developed a drug burden index to guide drug assessment and prescribing in a quantitative manner. Research teams continue to test and implement this approach to assess risk associated with polypharmacy in older patients. Don has been an engaged member of FIP for almost a decade, including being the founding chair of the PKPD and Systems Pharmacology Special Interest Group. Dr. Jonathan Penn, Australia. Jonathan is a pharmacy practice researcher with a track record in promoting evidence-based hospital pharmacy practice and patient safety. His work on the FIP Basel statements led him to develop surveys to monitor and assess hospital pharmacy services in 37 countries. He has also been responsible for developing the FIP Hospital Pharmacy Online Self-Assessment Tool. His research to improve antimicrobial prescribing has been used by the Australian Commission on Safety and Quality in Healthcare in Antimicrobial Stewardship Programs on the Medication Management Technical Committee of the Health Standards Organization. He has reviewed and updated standards on antimicrobial stewardship and medication management in hospitals and community-based organizations used in 38 countries. Jonathan has held multiple roles at the Society of Hospital Pharmacists, including on its Pain Management Leadership Committee. His passion for improving prescribing high-risk medicines led him to develop an opioid stewardship program being implemented in Australian hospitals. He also represents pharmacy on the National Pain Management Education Strategy delivered by the Australian and New Zealand College of Anesthetists. Jonathan started the first entrustable professional activity where students obtain medication histories from hospital patients described to be a great benefit and his school plans widespread adoption of EPAs within its 2022 curriculum. He is Assistant Secretary of FIP's Hospital Pharmacy Section. Congratulations, Jonathan. Dr. Bernard Poggi, France. Bernard is a pharmacist who is a specialist in clinical biochemistry, molecular biology, and laboratory medicine. His valuable contribution to the development of pharmacy and clinical biology, both in France and internationally, is beyond doubt. And without him, the clinical biology section of FIP would not be what it is today. He served as the section's president for 16 years. For over 20 years, Bernard has led a rich professional life combining roles as the head of the clinical chemistry department at a hospital in Lyon and president and vice president of the Central Council of Clinical Biologists of the French Board of Pharmacists. He is also a reserve colonel pharmacist for the French Defense Central Health Service. Bernard has been one of the linchpins in the development of quality in clinical laboratories in France for many decades and still heads the main French external quality control supplier, Probuqua. He has directly supported more than 25 pharmacy students through obtaining their doctorate and his great professional and human qualities have inspired many emeritus. Mr. Olusolo Solaren, Nigeria. 
Olusola has brought 30 plus years of industrial pharmacy practice experience to his eight years service of the executive committee of FIP's industrial pharmacy section, including in his current post of president. He was responsible for the rollout of the section's quarterly webinar series and has organized almost 20 webinars. Olusola was part of the team that delivered industrial pharmacy career talks to students at several FIP congresses. His service to FIP also includes being a member of the committee on developing a new scope for the special interest group on regulatory science and quality. In his own country, Sola has been national chairman of the Nigerian Association of Industrial Pharmacists and was a council member of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. While working for Glaxo Welcome Nigeria, he developed a new pharma distribution system and since 2010 has managed a regulatory and product registration consultancy that has remained a leader in Nigeria with operations in other countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Sola has published a book on his experiences in the Nigeria pharmaceutical industry as a reference document and guidance for other industrial pharmacists. Last but not least, I would like to announce this year's winners of FIP's awards for member organizations. We have two categories, the Health Promotion Campaign Award and the Pharmacy Practice Improvement Program Award. The purpose of the Health Promotion Campaign Award is to recognize a health promotion campaign developed and run by a FIP member organization. The World Health Organization defines health promotion as the process of enabling people to increase control over and to improve their health. In the context of this award, a health promotion campaign includes a structured approach aiming at providing information and or education to individuals, groups and communities to empower them in adopting good health behaviors and improving their health status. We received many good quality nominations and I would like to mention these. Mental Health First Aid Training, Bushfire Affected Areas from the Pharmaceutical Society of Australia, Pharmacists Waging War Against the Coronavirus from the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Project RX also from the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, and Pharmacy Week from Asociación de Química y Farmacia del Uruguay. I am pleased to announce that the 2021 award for the health promotion campaign goes to the Pharmaceutical Society of Singapore for their campaign PSS Pharmacy Week 2020, digitalizing healthcare, your health at your fingertips. Let's watch a short video about the campaign. Thank you so much for giving us this award. We are indeed very honoured to receive this award from FIP. And we hope that through our promotion campaign, that Singaporeans as well as the global community is able to future-proof the next step in their pharmaceutical journey.
The purpose of FIP's Pharmacy Practice Improvement Program Award is to recognize a program developed and run by a member organization to improve or expand pharmacy practice with innovative vision of the pharmacist's role. The program can impact practice in any setting through th strengthening the competencies of pharmacists or providing tools in a structured approach. Before announcing the winner of this award, I would like to recognize the other nomination that we received. These were Academia, CPESM, Transformation Pharmacy Collaborative, from the American Association of Colleges of Pharmacy, AACP, Greenlight Operation Pharmacy Support Line, jointly from the National Association of Pharmacies, ANF, and the Portuguese Pharmaceutical Society, Pharmacy with a Doctor program from the Mongolian Association of United Pharmaceutical Organizations, drug, and bringing pharmacist innovations to bear as a panacea to an improved pharmacy practice setting from the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria. I am pleased to announce that this year FIP's Pharmacy Practice Improvement Program Award goes to the National Association of Pharmacies ANF in Portugal for its program 1400 Service, an integrated solution for emergency medicines and pharmaceutical assistance 24 7. Let's watch a short video about the program. É uma linha de proximidade entre as pessoas e as farmácias. Promove a acessibilidade, a segurança, a conveniência e a rapidez na relação com a farmácia. 24 horas por dia, 7 dias por semana. A linha 1400 identifica a farmácia de serviço mais próxima de si e contacta-a para validar a disponibilidade do seu pedido. De dia, ligue 1400 e beneficie de um serviço de conveniência. A linha 1400 permite-lhe reservar e encomendar medicamentos na sua farmácia de sempre e ajuda-o a encontrar medicamentos urgentes de disponibilidade reduzida. O 1400 cresceu como resposta aos portugueses no período da pandemia, mas é um serviço que veio para ficar. A linha 1400 é uma nova porta de entrada na sua farmácia. Now we have come to the end of this ceremony. I would like to congratulate all the winners again and their much deserved awards. And to close, I would like to thank them for their commitment to FIP and to our pharmacy profession. It is innovation and dedication such as we have recognized today that will advance pharmacy in all sectors for future generations. Thank you very much.